This is the Canadian International Group 1 over a Marlon Fort. And we start with Night King for, for Dan Hughes, 66 to 1. Chapango Commodity for Darren Thompson, 14. Alba Flora for Dan Hughes, 11 to 1. Morecat Coins for Pedrag, 11 to 2. Brailsford Glove for Dell, 33 to 1. Fighting Edge for Paul Parsons, 6 to 1. Grand Forks Mountain, Vinny Gerard, 15 to 2. Swinging Green for Martin, 15 to 2. Tunbridge Wells and Agent the Matsy for Paul Rose. Agent the Matsy and Irons, 2 favourite. Countess for Dan French, 15 to 2. Great Devotion, 40 to 1 for Paul Parsons. And Quatsy Squoda for James Shea, 10 to 1. I believe this was a 100 rating max, so a chance for some of these trainers to taste Group 1 glory, potentially for the first time. And they're off. <coughs> Good start from Night King. Agent the Matsy, the favourite. Tunbridge Wells is there. Trapanga commodity. Brailsford Glove pushes through on the rail to try and get the... Uh, sorry, on the far side. But it's now Night King. The great for Dan Hughes. That takes it up. Brailsford Glove comes swooping around the outside for Dale Hinton to try and take the lead. And these two go a little clear of Tunbridge Wells. Trapanga commodity. Grand Forks Mountain is there on the rail fighting edge. Um, swinging Groom, Great Devotion all there, they're a little wide, more cat coins on the inside, Countess, Albaflora and Coatsy Scroda is held up for James Shea. Going down towards the final mile of the Canadian International here and Brailsford Glove has taken it up for Del Hinton, cutting across Night King on the bend there, who is about a length and a bit away in second. Tunbridge Wells has been told to go after these two. Um, and is probably another length and a half back in third from Grand Forks Mountain, Agent the Matsy, next to a stable mate. Um, Great Devotion is also there, a bit wide with Swinging Groom. Fighting Edge has a good position, looks for a better position um, on the rail. Morecat Coins, Chapango Commodity has dropped back. Alba Flora is on the rail, travelling nicely, the grey. And Quatsy Squoda has just taken out, just gone past um, Countess to take second to last place. Brailsford Glove. Takes them down to the final five furlongs from Night King. Grand Forks Mountain has made some improvement. Swinging Groom and Great Devotion are trying to come around the outside. Tunbridge Wells still there going well. Agent the Matsy, the favourite, getting into it as well. Alba Flora has come right up from the back and Coatsy Skoda is tracking that one through. Fighting Edge is also trying to stay through but has just walked into a barrage of horses. We're going underground here. I don't know what's going on with this camera angle. But um, we're in the lake for a minute. And Brailsford Glove has taken it on. So Brailsford Glove has gone for home for Del Hinton in the Canadian International. Grand Forks Mountain is staying on in second. Alba Flora is there in third. Asa the Matsy the favourite is up and down on the spot in fourth. Night King is staying back on as well. And then there's a couple on the outside but not coming quick enough. Grand Forks Mountain takes it up. And it's a trio of greys taking it on. Grand Forks Mountain from Alba Flora and Night King. Asa the Matsy the favourite in fourth. Fighting Edge staying on well on the outside. Coming wide down the outside more cat coins but it's going to be Alba Flora late Alba Flora wins Alba Flora just takes on Grand Forks Mountain and wins the Canadian International it's a good win for Dan Hughes just got up on the line to beat Grand Forks Mountain and Vinnie Gerard. so your result for the Canadian International Alba Flora for Dan Hughes your winner at 9-1 to one. Grand Forks Mountain second for Vinnie Gerard at 15 to 2. Night King ran on after being up with the pace. Early doors was third at 50 to 1. A big run from Fighting Edge for Paul Parsons, 13 to 2 in fourth. Swinging Groom stayed on for fifth for Martin Leadham. Chapango Commodity also stayed on in sixth. For 14 to 1. Your 10 to 3 favourite, Agent the Matsy, was 7th, but you had that group of Fighting Edge down to Morcat Coins that stayed on late down the outside but just didn't have enough to get to the leaders. And Alba Flora held up, made a nice move. You can see on the positions and the lengths was 10th coming around the 6th furlong point, made a nice move into the straight and went on to win it.